what's up? Um, it's me, you know, the guy that makes the uh, Nova More Anchor tutorials now, I guess. I'm gonna show you guys how to play that. First thing you're gonna wanna do, you need a capo. If you don't have one of those, you can't play this song, sorry. The tuning is kind of weird, right? It's not normal. So, if you don't know how to tune, I made a separate video about it. I'll link it in the description, you can check it out. But um, that actually shows you how to tune for the specific song too. But the tuning for this, the top string goes C, then G, then D, then G, then B, and then D. So again, if you do not know how to custom tune your guitar or change it like that, go check out my other video. It will help you out. Um, but other than that, let's get right into how to play Novo More Anchor. You're going to need one of these. So this is a capo. I put this on the second fret of whatever guitar you're using. So right here, one, two, second fret. I'm just gonna clamp it on right there. Makes all the notes a little higher, changes some of them. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to pick, and I'm gonna do this a little bit more up close so you can see. So this is the pattern that we're gonna use, and it's the same the entire song. So you shouldn't get too confused with it. So you start up here, So if you don't get that, you start with the first string that's closest to you, then you skip a string and go down to the third, and then you go up one to the second string, and then back down to the fourth. And that's it. You just repeat that pattern over and over again. So. One more time slow. So on the seventh fret, counting up from the capo. So count up from the capo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. You're gonna do one, two, three. So you're gonna put your top two strings are covered on the seventh, and then the ninth, it's the third string right there. So if you see right there what I'm doing with my fingers, again, one, two, and then three. You can do it this way with three fingers if you want. I just do it with two. So like that. And then you're gonna just do that picking pattern. And you're gonna repeat that four times on this chord. So what I did there is I dropped my finger down. So I keep the same, you know, chord shape, but I just remove and go down with the top finger. So now it's not covered on the top. So it's zero, seven, nine now. Do that four times. So again from the beginning, we're gonna do seven, seven, nine, four times. Then zero, seven, nine, four times. And then we're gonna drop all the way down to two, two, four. So it's the same shape, you're just starting on the second fret instead of the seventh. So again, these two are covered right here. So it's second, second, and then the third string, it's the fourth. And you do that twice. So from the beginning we go four times, four times again, then twice here, and then we slide up right here. Now this is the only time we play this note, so it's kind of confusing. So you slide up from 2, 2, 2, 4, to 4, 4, 5. So your fingers are closer this time. You're not spread apart like this. They're, you know, right next to each other on the frets. So from 2, 2, 4, slide up 4, 4, 5. Play that once. Slide up again. Now it's kind of confusing. I'm gonna go through the whole thing again and you can kind of get it. So four times, seven, seven, nine. Oh, seven, nine, four times. Two, three, four. So that last one we're doing is new, which is literally just the middle string right here, the third string down on 
the second fret, and that's that's the entire chord. Put that four times. So starting all the way from the beginning, we're right here on seven, seven, nine, four times. Oh, seven, nine, four times. Two, two, four. 